go up to the mountains and bring wood and build the temple that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified, says the Lord. He says, come on, get into that big project. See, we all have this big thing that's going on and we are part of it. And our family and our work and our profession and our house and building the house and renovating the house, all of that is part of that, you know. But we must never lose sight of the big program that God has. The master plan that God has. We are living towards that. We are not living for our own goals. Our life is not about getting married, having a couple of children and building a house. Some people feel like if they had, they got married and had a couple of children and built a house. I've done everything brother, you know. Done everything a man supposed to do. No, you've not done everything that a man supposed to do. You've, you've done everything a man supposed to do when you've done what God has appointed you to do. If you have no awareness of God's mission for your life, where God wants to take you and what he wants to do through you, what's God's plan and purpose is, and you don't function accordingly and orient your life and all your interests based on that, that is your primary interest and these things are necessary also. But that is your primary interest. When you put that first, God blesses all these other things. Blesses your family, your children, your house, your assets, your everything. God blesses it.